Cause your neck broke, face crack, laid flat And give everything that you made back Eight clap, nigga, sun flies at your wave cap Pray that New York minute bring mace back Shame that really took eight flat You know the game whack And every last rapper here try to bring the name back It ain't rap, niggas better stay strapped When you call the sticker balls, try to get your chain back. Guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know this is going to be a sample shopping episode, of course, sponsored by Decan Shop. Uh, my coupon code MAX12 is going to get you 12% off your entire order when you do pick up a products from decanshop.com. So don't forget to use that. Every fragrance we're going to talk about in this episode is available at decanshop.com at the lowest possible price. Decantshop.com. Again, coupon code MAX12. Four fragrances we're going to look at today. We're going to start with one from the house of Penhaligans. This one, never hear this one talked about, is called Z Zonia. Um, I'm a big fan of this brand. Actually, trying to do a scent safari episode on the new fragrances they're releasing with the animal uh, caps, if you've seen those. Um, but I own four from this brand Elixir, Duro, Sartorial, and Beolea. Um, and I like all four. Uh, would love to get my hands on the new Endemian Parfum. That's the only other one right now that I have um, on my pickup list from this house. Uh, Zizonia was originally created in the 1930s and reinterpreted, you know, some few years back by a perfumer named Christian Provenzano, who has done work for Bodicia, The Victorious, and Clive Christian, and others for Penhaligans, including Asuria. Uh, from the Trade Route Collection and LP number 9 for him. Notes on this are orange blossom, bergamot, coriander at the top, lavender, nutmeg, cardamom, ginger, geranium, black pepper, cumin in the middle, patchouli, amber, cedar, vetiver, sandalwood in the base. Now even though, and by the way, uh, you can get a bottle of this one for about $55 discounted online. Even though this one is listed, um, on Fragrantica as a female fragrance. I think this is totally unisex. It reminds me so much of Declaration by Cartier. It's like a really sort of citrusy, spicy uh, fragrance. It's got that coriander and pepper in there, heavy, and that bergamot orange blossom. It's almost a one-to-one -one of Declaration. I think Declaration's a little bit stronger, even though that's a Jean-Claude Elena transparent fragrance. This is sort of a lighter version of that, and I think if anything, it's more masculine um, than feminine. It's not something I would personally purchase just because I do own Declaration. I like that one a lot, but if you're looking to get Declaration and you want something maybe, say, a little bit not as strong, you definitely might want to give uh, Zazonia a look. It's a really, really well done scent. The next one is a woman's fragrance. We're going to be looking at a couple of women's fragrances over the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm trying to broaden my horizons here. This one is from Narciso Rodriguez, and this one's called Narciso Absolute Her. And um, this one is from um, obviously the house that uh, we all know for the men's fragrance that Francis Curtijan did, that everyone thinks smells like wet concrete. I agree. I have that one. It smells like wet, wet cement. I haven't checked out anything from their women's collection, so I'm very excited to, to, to look at this one. Um, and I haven't looked at any of their scents um, in this entire series. Uh, Orlain Gouchard did this scent for the brand, and you get a very simple note breakdown of um, intense floral chords of tuberose and jasmine absolute, musk, amber, woods, patchouli, and sandalwood. This is a flanker of Narcisa Rodriguez for her, which came out in 2003. And you can find bottles of this online for like $55. It came out in 2015. Um, for me, it's a musky tuberose and jasmine fragrance. That's what I get. I get musk. I get tuberose, jasmine, a little bit of woods and sandalwood um, in the base. Not much patchouli. Of course, I wouldn't wear this. There definitely are some feminine fragrances I, I feel like I can't pull off. Obviously, Black Orchid. This one's really, really floral. Uh, I do like it. It's a, it's a musky floral. The tuberose is the note that, that comes out most for me. Um, but uh, I don't really love this one. Even as a woman's fragrance, I just think there's something about it that's like a little too sweet. 
Um, not a bad fragrance, just just not for me. I don't I don't really uh, like it. I don't think I'd like it uh, on a woman either. The next one we're going to talk about is from the House of Valentino. This one is called Adona, and it came out last year, 2015. It's the actual counterpart to Womo. If you guys know, I did a review on Womo. That's the sort of scent that gets compared to Diorome. It's got like a hazelnut note. It comes in that really uh, bottle with the geometric patterns that uh, that are like 3D. Uh, this has a very similar bottle, as you saw in the preview. Um, on this series, we've looked at a couple Valentino discontinued scents for men. Uh, I actually would love to check out Womo Intense, which came out, uh, I think, this year or late last year. And the notes on Dona are Italian Bergamot, Bulgarian Rose, Iris Absolute, Patchouli, Leather, Vanilla. This one was done by Sonia Constant and Antoine Maison Du, two very well established perfumers. And you can get this for about 60 bucks online. This one I really like. I think this is a woman's fragrance I would like to smell the woman. I get bergamot, rose, leather, and vanilla. Um, I wouldn't wear it, it's definitely feminine. Um, but it's a really nice combo of those notes. The, the iris is really nice, the rose is really nice, the leather here pops, the vanilla is beautiful. It's fruity, but it's not too fruity. You get leather, um, it's just nice, you know what I'm saying? It's well done, it smells like it actually is a counterpart to um, to Womo by Valentino. If any of you guys are looking for a fragrance for uh, a female in your life, I think this would be a really good option. The next one we're gonna take a look at, the final one this week, is from the house of Lorenzo Villarisi. This one is called The Thesis. And um, we looked at Piper Negrum on this show a long time ago. I loved it, I bought a bottle. Um, I haven't, I actually had received a bunch of scents from this house from Lorenzo Villarisi years ago. Um, and I just respect the hell out of, out of Lorenzo Villarisi. Uh, but I haven't ha found that second scent that I want to purchase from this house. Uh, and we're going to look at one this week and I believe, yep, one next week as well. Um, and this one, Thesis, came out in 2011 and has notes of citrus, um, bergamot, green notes, clary sage, pepper, nutmeg, and floral notes at the top, vetiver, iris, jasmine, labdanum, patchouli, and woods in the middle, musk, amber, tonka, oud, and leather in the base. You get 100 ml of this guy online for about $100, and I just don't get this one at all. I just think it smells not good. Um, very green, but almost like the clary sage or the pepper or nutmeg just makes it like very, it's almost like a stale smell to me. I, I know this, I just don't know how to describe this. I just don't like it. I, there's some people that describe it as a tea fragrance. It almost has like a smell of a glad trash bag to me. And I know the bottle hasn't gone bad because I actually have another sample of this. So this is what this one smells like to me. I can't really give you guys more. It's just not a good smelling fragrance to me. Guys, if I was ranking these, Zizonia is far and away number one. Uh, Dona number two, Narcissa three, and Lorenzo four. I would not purchase any of these personally. If I was a woman, I would probably want to own Dona. And um, if I didn't have declaration, I might look at that one. Uh, then I look at Zizonia by Penhaligans. So guys, four more fragrances next week. We'll start by looking at one from the house of Jean Varvatos. We'll then go to the house of D.S. and Durga. We'll then look at another from Lorenzo Villarisi, see if we can get some redemption from Mr. Villarisi. And then we'll finish with one from the house of Juliet Has a Gun. So guys, hope you're enjoying these. Again, these videos are made possible because of decantshop.com. Please um, use the website, use that coupon code. So many dope fragrances on, um, on Decant Shop. New ones constantly being added. Just a great resource for you guys to pick up fragrances. Um, so, you know, I wouldn't keep promoting them unless I really, really believe that. And the site redesign is coming, so make it a lot easier to navigate. Um, and I'd love to know what you think of it when the site is redesigned. DecantShop.com, coupon code MAX12. Guys, obviously, my name is Max. They thought the game was over when Big died, then homie Hope took it over. They shot Pac five times, years later, them balls took shine.